data mining. My name is Billy Decker. I'm a business intelligence consultant that works for StatSlice, a consulting firm based out of Dallas, Texas. And today we're going to talk about how to sample your data in less than five minutes using the data mining add-in tool for Microsoft Excel. So quite simply, we're going to jump straight in here and it's very quick and easy. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to get a random sample from the bike buyer data we do. So we come up here and we just click on the sample data icon, go to next, and uh, the table we're going to select here is the source data table, and then we're going to click next, and we're going to go ahead and for this one we're going to leave it on random sampling. And so what this is going to do is every single row that's actually in our data set has an equal opportunity to be put into our random sample and all that we really need to do now is we just need to select the size of that actual random sample and we can do that in two ways we can either select a percentage or we can do it by row count so to keep it easy let's go ahead and just select 100 rows right here and then we click next and here we can um, actually do uh, a couple of things we can name our selected data sheet and we're going to go ahead and change the name of that to random sample data and we can also create a worksheet for the unselected data so whatever wasn't selected we can actually put into another sheet so if we wanted to actually analyze that and uh, check whether our random sample was actually balanced compared to our original total population but uh, we're not going to do that in this case so we're going to go ahead here and uncheck the create a worksheet for unselected data then we're simply going to click finish and there we go it very quickly uh, selected 100 rows right here plus the uh, two rows at the top that are offset and it was that easy and every single time we run this we will get a random 100 rows to actually that we can analyze and we usually want to use this uh, whenever the we're testing out different data models but we don't necessarily want to analyze the entire data set because it's uh, really large and it takes a long time to do that so this allows us to be able to produce like several very quick models um, based upon just uh, random rows actually from our data set. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back up here and this time instead of creating a random sample we're actually going to do what's called oversampling. Um, so we start off again clicking next and then we go to uh, back to our source data table right here. Go ahead and click next and this time we're going to collect uh, or select oversample to balance data distributions. And this time, what, what we're really doing here whenever we use the term oversampling is let's say we have like a population. In this case, uh, the first thing up there is selected its marital status. And let's say the majority of information that we have is uh, on married people. But the real population that we want to analyze, it's, it's much more uh, balanced. Like let's say it's uh, about 90% married people in our source data, but we want to analyze something where married people only make up say 60 percent of our data so what we can actually do in here is we can come in here we can select the input column we can then select the target state we can then pick the target percentage and then we can pick our sample size right here so just for fun um, I'm gonna go ahead and select education here and we're gonna pick graduate degrees then we go ahead and hit next and here we can just change the name of the actual worksheet and then we click finish and it immediately creates uh, 1000 rows here we can quickly see that scrolling all the way to the bottom with our two offset and if we want to know if it actually did the right percentage of our graduate degrees we can select graduate and we can come here and we can see that it created 300 of 1000 records so Therefore, it created a, basically a data set where people with graduate degrees made up 30% of our population. And that is how you actually can sample your data in less than five minutes using the Microsoft um, Excel data mining add-in tool. Thank you very much.